Hi there guys, welcome to Anthony Allen Edits YouTube channel. My name is Anthony Allen. My YouTube channel is all about your video knowledge and teaching you guys how to video edit so you can edit your videos like a Final Cut Pro X genius. But here in this video, I'm about to give the person a shout out where this video idea came from. I'm about to give video motivators. Uh, don't forget to have a look at his channel guys at the end of this video. They should be up in the cards. Uh, the idea for this video has completely come from video motivators as he, uh, you know, I, I follow his channel and and while watching his channel, I saw that he was still having to go back to his Windows um, uh, PC in order just to format a memory stick. And it was, it was, you can see it's quite daunting for him. So as he's new to Max and he's used to, uh, he's new to iMacs, I've decided to why not make a video teaching you guys how to format your memory stick ready for Xbox One recordings uh, via your Mac. Um, or, or so you can plug it into your Xbox, sorry, and record via your Xbox so that the, the memory stick is formatted for it basically. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm about to show you how to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you my screen and show you step by step how to do that. Okay, so here we are on my Xbox dashboard. We're going to hit the home button and move over to broadcast and capture. Then we're going to move down to the advanced settings and we're doing this to show you what format your memory stick needs to be so that you can record your game content directly to your memory stick. You move down to the capture location and then Alielo Presto, you can see the format that you need your USB to be. Now your storage device, your USB, needs to be 3.0 or faster and formatted as an NTFS USB. So once you have your USB ready and you need to format it via your Mac or iMac, I'm about to show you what you need to do next. So there are two applications that you can use in order to format a, a storage device to a NTFS kind of format and you have to actually have an external application to help you with this. Uh, now, there are trials in which you can format your USB for a selected amount of days, and then after those selected amount of days, you need to purchase the applications. One that we're looking at here is Tuxera. That's one. You can download it for your 15-day free trial, or you can pay for it straight away. I don't know what the price is. Maybe we should have a look. Let's have a look at buy now and see what the price is. Okay, so the price is £18.36 and then it's £22.03 in full. <clears throat> I'm just going to go back there. Now we're going to have a look at our second option. This is Paragon. Paragon is another application in which you can do the same function. You can format and read uh, uh, drives as an NTFS file on your Mac. Again, you have a, a free trial. It's not telling me the amount of days that you have it for. Uh, for most users, you'll only need it for one day and literally just format the one memory stick. <laughs> uh, that's probably like, you know, the average, you know, person's uh, usage of this sort of thing. Uh, the, the paying for it will be then if you're gonna use it for uh, more than one device or something along that nature. Uh, let's have a look at the buy now price. So if we click buy now on Paragon. Around about the same price, uh, where it's uh, £15.95, and then you've got installation disk, which uh, I've uploaded a video about installation disks and disks, and if we do still need them nowadays. So if you look for my YouTube channel, you will see that. So I think for uh, today's purposes, we're going to show you Paragon. So I'm going to hit download there. It's automatically started downloading. And then we're going to get to the uh, uh, install. We go I'm going to skip through the installation, actually, and then show you uh, uh, the end result. Okay, so once you have successfully installed your trial version of your selected software, in our case, we're using Paragon, and we have, and you can see at the bottom, we have 10 days until it expires, and then you can uh, buy the software. Or if you already have a, uh, a if, you, if you've already purchased it and you need to activate it, you just select activate. Uh, so once you've opened it up, I've enlarged it obviously because I don't want you to see what's on my desktop right now. <laughs> uh, you want to <clears throat> three, two, one, go. So once you've done that, you want to select the storage device that you want to format. In our, in, in my case, it is USB disk. And that's the uh, uh, USB that I want to format. After that, you want to go straight up to Erase. 
you want to select erase <clears throat> and then as you can see your format is there ready and and ready to format your USB into the correct storage you can also select other different uh, um, uh, format types but in our case we're going to select Microsoft NTFS and then we're going to hit erase and this is only a small a very small uh, size memory stick and we're going to watch it load and as easy as that the application is working its way through it's just taking a while while we're sitting here we can have a look at the details on what's been happening so you can see what it's doing to your memory stick and it's formatting almost done now <clears throat> and there it said it's done there were no errors the USB has been successfully formatted into an NTFS format so if you're doing this quite often uh, absolute brilliant software to purchase um, 100% works all you have to do then is eject you can actually still read your USB in this format as well so <clears throat> if there are any problems with the formatting of your uh, memory stick and your Mac and you still want to read the USB in order to rectify the problem when you plug it back in and you go back into the software uh, in, in Paragon's case because we're using Paragon here you can actually read what's on the memory stick recover any files or reformat it into the format that you want so for example if we're here now we're going to click erase we're going to select something else uh, let's say for uh, X or Mac extended here is collect uh, select Mac extended and then we're formatting into a completely different format <clears throat> and you can just keep doing this uh, until your trial runs out so we're going to put that back into an NTFS format for now before we close up on this and how to actually do this via your Mac one thing you have to remember guys is that if you're planning to use this method if you're using it for a short period of time a 10 day trial is no problem but if you're planning to edit your gaming clips uh, using this method for a long period of time you'd probably need to purchase the software in order to do that so that you can record directly from your Xbox one to a USB stick but once it's recorded to the USB stick in order to read the files transfer them to your Mac and so forth without the without having to use a Windows platform you will have to be able to read an NTFS USB in the first place so it might be worthwhile purchasing the software so that you can do that as a Xbox is Microsoft and uh, Apple products are Apple products and obviously both like to keep it end-to-end -end with these sort of things so it can be a bit of a headache if you don't just purchase a software like this just to make things easier if you're recording your game clips directly to a memory stick from your Xbox One but who knows things might change and you might be able to save money from this uh, in future uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office are now all available via the App Store on a Mac so things change and things move forward so we'll, I guess until that change happens potentially in future this would be the method in which you record directly to your memory stick but edit and export your files onto a Mac device so there we have it guys thank you for watching hopefully that's been very helpful to you uh, it's a bit of a shorter video today uh, I vlog every day as well giving you guys some form of video knowledge and I also teach you how to uh, uh, <laughs> I also teach you how to video edit like a Final Cut Pro X genius so thank you for watching guys I have much more videos I upload daily as well so hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and it's been helpful to you at any way shape or form uh, and yeah see you soon in the next video guys and thank you for watching peace